Do you like the squirrel? No, it's a chipmunk! Hi everyone, welcome to my semi-daily. I try to do daily videos, but this one I think I'm going to title it Chico and my buns. Uh, Chico is a reference and you'll see Chico later in the video, probably near the end. He is a little squirrel that has been coming by that my daughter named, I don't know where she got the name. Maybe it's, you know, a common name, Chico. But anyways, Chico the squirrel, he's going to be uh, in the video. And I'm going to show you really super fast how to make, uh, I, I like to make my own hamburger buns. I, I'm thinking of making some hamburgers later. So for, for this evening, it's about three in the afternoon, 3.30 right now. So if I get it all in progress, they'll be ready. But I'm going to show you super, super fast uh, how to make them. Not a lot of detail. If you want details, I've made uh, detailed videos. So you don't need to see that. But anyways, uh, oh, and by the way, if you're wondering who Chico is, he is actually right there. He just happened to come up here. There he is. He's looking for some peanuts. Say hi to everyone, Chico. All right. Oh, oh, uh, moving fast. Hey everyone, before we move on here, just want to go through chipmunks and squirrels, just so we know what we're talking about. Anyways, there's a chipmunk, ground squirrel, and tree squirrel. I've seen these in uh, black also, I'm not sure what their exact name is. But here, uh, I'll read this in my uh, narrative voice um, coming up here. What is the difference between a chipmunk and a squirrel? Chipmunks are small mammals with distinct stripes, while the tree squirrel is larger and doesn't have stripes. The ground squirrel has body stripes like chipmunks, but no head stripes. A tree squirrel is larger, has a longer tail, and no stripes. They all have short fur and small rounded ears. Do you like the squirrel? No, it's a chipmunk! Okay, so for those wondering how I make these buns, I'm going to show you really quick. You can make, you know, small dinner buns or hamburger buns. I'll get into that in a bit, but anyways, I use a bread maker. Uh, this is the pan. I use that to mix the dough. It's just much easier than doing it by hand, trust me. Um, and really all you need uh, is uh, five cups of flour and one and two thirds cup of water, which I kind of warmed up. It's like lukewarm. And two eggs, three tablespoons of butter. Uh, today I'm just going to try some, I have the, some maple syrup I bought, so it's a little bit less than a tablespoon, almost a tablespoon. Two teaspoons of uh, bread yeast and two teaspoons of salt. Okay, like I said, one and two thirds cup of, I use lukewarm water. And I'll throw my butter in. And here, see how good I am with eggs here. One egg. Two eggs. Put my uh, five cups of flour in there. Oh, I meant to put this in uh, with the water. This is the uh, maple syrup. Usually I use sugar, so that's why I'm a little bit out of sync. So I think I'm going to try to push that down into the water there. There we go. That'll work. And then on top, put the uh, sprinkle your yeast and salt up there. Put it into the bread maker and I just put it on the dough setting. And in the end, it'll be about an hour and a half before I come back and uh, show you what I do with it, okay? All right, 
right, so the dough's in progress, and you know it's good when, you know, it's not super solid, and you can kind of squish it easily, but yet it doesn't like goo up on your fingers. So anyways, as I said, at this point, I'll see you in about an hour and 22 minutes. Okay, my dough is almost ready. I'll show you it in a second, uh, but, but before it's uh, ready to go to make into the buns, get a few uh, pans uh, for scale. I don't know how big they are. They're this big. And I often, if you have new non-stick pans, you won't have to worry about it. Uh, but I like using this parchment paper. It's not the same as wax paper, so don't use wax paper. But I put a little bit here. And as you can see in the bread maker, uh, this is an hour and a half later, it's all risen up. And you're thinking, oh, that looks great. But you know what you actually have to do? Um, you have to do what's called a punch down. And I just let the machine do it. I just sort of reset it and start it again. And just watch how, how this works. A little bit easier than doing it by hand. So as you can see, it's it's sort of deflating. You want to get uh, all the carbon dioxide, uh, which is built up. You want to get that out of the dough, and then we'll uh, move on to the next step. I'm just going to let this uh, run for like a minute, maybe, and I'll uh, take that out of there, throw it on top of this plate. Okay, I have a weigh scale here. Um, hopefully that's, maybe that's not in camera. No, it's not. Anyways, there it is. Uh, basically, you know, have a little bowl of flour, just like this, get flour on your hands. And I have my weigh scale, and it's important. Uh, using the weigh scale for me anyway has been very helpful. Uh, basically, you have some flour on your hands. If you're gonna make a hamburger bun, uh, it should be at least 120 grams. Just a little bit more. There we go. I mean, 120 plus or minus. This is 124. So, I mean, just form it into a into a ball like that. Set it on your tray. Voila, that'll expand up, it'll be nice. Um, if you want to make a smaller one, those ones are 50 grams, give or take. Same thing, just roll it up. Voila. Okay, I rolled up all the buns. I have a few different sizes here. Uh, the oven is not on, very important, because they need to sit now for about 30 minutes. And I'll show you what to do after 30 minutes. Okay, so I let the buns sit in the oven. It was not heated up just so that they can rise. And so I took them out of the oven, sitting on the counter. Now you wanna put a little bit of a, I don't know if you call this a glaze or a topping or whatever. I use a little bit of, uh, you know, half and half cream. And oddly, a little bit of chocolate milk. Not a lot, just enough. Just get a little bit of a brownie look in there. And then basically all you're gonna do now is Give all the uh, buns a nice little light coating of this. And the end result will be they'll, once when they're cooking, they're gonna brown up nice, look great. Okay, the oven's heated up. Using the uh, lower rack and the mid rack. So it's heated up to 410 and we're gonna cook them for 30 minutes. You're gonna see these ones brown up first, and then, you know, that's probably in about 15 minutes, and then switch them around. All right, it's been 24 minutes. Here we go. There's the first ones.
And the second one's looking pretty good, don't you think?